<sighs> it's time to grab my Sony ZV-1 camera. This time we're going to Miami Beach, Florida, where every December a vanguard of contemporary art market collectors, gallerists, and dealers gather in South Beach. Yo, I'm DB, different breed. We in Miami. Let's get it. Hey everyone, my name is Max and Stoyt here, representing 26 North. We're here in Miami, Art Week, aka Art Basel. Incredible time. My name is Sneak. We're live playing in the Cleveland tonight. Tomorrow night will be a Chica, Calais 23 on Sunday. Right now I'm working on 100 Maryland, so I'm doing 100 Maryland Monroe's, the same portrait, 100 different styles. NFTs we're getting into soon. I'm turning all the Maryland's into NFTs. <laughs> Welcome to Miami, man. Thanks, man. Out here in Miami, Art Basel. Let's go. Let's go. It's the place to be right now. True. It's... Oh. Oh, hey. It's... What's up? What are you doing here? <laughs> We're here in Miami. We're here for Art Basel, Miami Beach. Art Basel is once a year and it's basically an international exhibition of art from all over the world. Graffiti art, fine art, NFT art. Uh, this is where like the new trends and, and the, the front line of art is. The uh, cutting edge of art is here at Art Basel. If anyone asks you the definition of art, you tell them it is a fiberglass installation by Yinka Shonibarde. His work moving up is embedded with messages about dreams of the future, class distinction among refugees, layers of stories told by the newspaper clippings he chooses to stuff under rope. Moving up is a story of a family that works hard, entering a new world with a resume of talents and objects to sell should work not be found. I'm excited to be here. It looks like a lot of great artists here, lots of talent, lots of inspiration I'm hoping to uh, get by seeing all of these wonderful artists, so I'm very excited. I don't think there's enough coverage on indigenous artists. It's actually my favorite art, so. Yeah, the, I, it was interesting listening to Jeffrey Gibson. He, he's like, there's, you know, there's a, there's a culture outside of, you know, what, we as the public normally think of as like indigenous people. I think it's interesting to look at a contemporary indigenous artist, and there's a couple of them here. Sky Hopinga, I hope to, to touch base with him. And Is this your first time to Art Basel? Uh, I've been, but it's been a few years, yeah. and usually I do more of like the uh, art fashion. Uh, which takes place more in like Wynwood and more of the Miami yeah. proper. I, I found so, Wynwood like yeah. very overwhelming. Like as soon as you go in, it is like whoa! Like yeah, it's like overload of like images and oh, here's the Margulies collection. Let's check this out. You think you're in control of your emotional state to lay your fate. Like yeah, I think it's very interesting that that this is a private collection. And you have these humongous works of art, sculptures like this, that who could have this in their home? I live in New York City, so there's no way I could get a sculpture like this into my apartment. So it's very interesting to see this kind of sculptural work in this size space. Well, I think that it's a lot more easier to navigate South Beach, particularly, yeah. because you know where Lincoln Road is, and then from there, it's a it's kind of a small area yeah. that you're navigating. Wynwood is is very vast, yeah. Vast, vast, yes. I challenge the boundaries every day. My name is Alan Castoriano. I'm an artist at the Big House. The Big House is one of the oldest art artist community in uh, Miami. So for six a couple of years more or less my art evolved to, into a more organic uh, sort of things mostly influenced by my surrounding here in Miami it's so bold strong especially coming from Europe I have a, a piece in the big gallery here 
It's fickle if you let it trickle in Things can be so simple The issue is never if but when It can make you friends It can help your children win It can make you feel alright To finally smile again But behind the grin Is that poison that's within If you're human then you got it No matter color of skin That's the yin and yang So let the pendulum swing Put a comma to the drama Watch you heal all things Hey what's up? My name's Paige McDonald um, I'm here with Ones to Watch We are throwing an amazing Art Basel event here at the gate in South Beach, Miami. The whole event is about cross-promoting music mixed with visual art. So we have um, visual artists mixed with our musical artists, t-shirt designs, and yeah, we just have so many other things going on. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Damn, is that King Red? This is my work here. It's like a pop art graffiti style. I guess that's what I would. Really that's how I would describe it. A lot of my work is reference based, so um, it's pop art. So like these, it's I kind of like go off of images that you know might be like popular to cultural stuff like that, but more colorful. What I've been told is that art pieces should have like six layers, you know, so it should look like this is on top of this is on top of this is on top of this. So it's something that I'm trying to do, but I'm, I'm, I guess like I haven't really been able to do it because I do so much outlines. But in some of my like newer pieces, um, I'm using like less outline. Can I talk to you about your signature here on Instagram? You read Run It. Yeah. But that's that's not a, that doesn't say that's not what that says. Yeah. So no, I mean the Red Run It thing is just an Instagram name. And um, I was I was doing even even the King Red thing. But what I would prefer to like when I sign my pieces is TJ Pierre, which is my real name. My real name is Gregory Jason Pierre. Like when the work gets recognized by someone serious, I would like. For it to be my name. I thought I'd never make it. That pit and spin an ancient sudden amnesia. If it's broke, then replace it. The root of all evil is you of all people. Who are you to evolve if things are all equal? That's just crabs in a book. Here we are at the Frost exhibit in conjunction with Florida International University. This is a student curated exhibition led by Frost professor David Chang. Here we have 18 gelatin prints, portraits by Christopher Makos, Andy Warhol's assistant during his trip to China 40 years ago. We've arrived a little late, so the students are gone, but Professor Chang is still here to talk to us. This is a special exhibition, this is a reception for Art Basel Week. Um, is by an artist and personal photographer of Andy Warhol. His name is uh, Christopher Makos, internationally renowned. His uh, artworks are in permanent collections of over 100 art museums all over, all over the world. So we're having the exhibition of his unique photographic portraits of Andy Warhol on one personal trip to China 40 years ago. And this is why it's, it's called Warhol, Mako's Warhol in China 40 years after. So, and there was a film by Lee Kaplan who was here just a little while ago. Yes. Yeah, and they made on the particular trip. So, this is a unique gallery in a way that it's not a regular commercial gallery. It's a university student-run gallery, which is very unique, the only one in Florida managed by graduate students. Showing work and they talk to clients, they, they talk to artists, they show their own work, they show artists work like this. So they, they, they learn the real life marketing experience in addition to reading books and seeing videos and all that after the MFA degrees that they, they learn from the institution, right? So Art Basel has changed the city since it came in, right? Mm -hmm. Because because of Art Basel, it brought in, actually Art Miami came in first in uh, 1992 or something. And it changed the city because it brought in the world of visitors, spectators, collectors, and people who want to see what's going on. Not only were we now artists from different parts of the world, but also from local artists, such as emerging artists, such as young artists who are still graduate students who are also seeking opportunities in these almost, we call it satellite 
uh, Art Week exhibitions. And he's not kidding. Satellite art fairs are to be found everywhere this week. The artwork of Melchor Moore will be on sale for one day only. To the drama, watch you heal all things. If it can't make you happy, why can't I stop laughing hard and feel too bad when breaking bread with family? I thought I'd never make it. That feeling's feeling ancient. Sudden amnesia. If it's broke, then replace it. I'm Mayor Martinez, and I'm uh, one of the gallerists at Flying Horse Editions, uh, which is affiliated with UCF in Orlando, Florida. And what we do is we invite artists to come in on. Uh, a visiting artists sort of residency program and the people that are established within their career and they come they may not have a history in print but um we invite them to come and create something within their vision and we make very very limited editions of the piece and um we have a membership program as well where we cap it at 40 people they can um be a yearly subscriber and get three mystery prints at the end of the year oh. so and we're actually about to have our gala uh, in december and uh, alex dodge is one of my favorite uh artists that we've worked with within the last couple of years uh he works by 3d rendering um these forms and then flattening them through a uh through a program and then basically we're able to adapt that into print by running but he developed these designs, and then we ran aluminum through our um, three-ton hydraulic press. So it kind of created this topographical texture. And then another facet of our program is that we invite the artists uh, when they're there. We bring members over to hear them talk, so not only do they get to engage with the artists, they kind of get to see the process. A fun event we just recently had was like a brunch with M.C. Evans, who is like the professor of printmaking at Tyler School of Art. So. Yeah, it's just, it's informative as well. So we educate people on the work that they're applying. I guess I can't really say that I've been to Miami without going to the beach. And since it's my last day here, here we are. Here we go. The water in Miami is really cold in December. I've got a lot to do over at the convention center anyway before I go, so let's get back to it. Anatomy is genius, touches diamonds, physicality, a commodity. Come on, closer. Design Miami is part of the MCH group that runs Miami Basil. Oh no, a protest. We are representing the Latinx female artists, are not represented in fairs and the market and the art system in general. I doubt that. There's a lot going on this weekend. And actually, I'm here looking for this. It's the Lexus LFZ Electrified Concept in conjunction with Miami School of Architecture Professor Jermaine Barnes. This concept is the future of carbon neutrality design. Well, since I can't tell what these guys are doing, let's head back on over to the convention center. There are a couple of more things that I need to see before I go, like the 700 cycles of somatic renditioning by Conrad Egier. Yeah, so the collector's room in our basil, it's a sectioned off room where you need a VIP pass to get to. So that's different than the public area. And most people are very high net worth individuals, you know, they're very, uh, very wealthy or they're, they're collectors of art and stuff. <laughs> and this is where we found Lydia Baker. I'm Lydia. I'm based in New York. Um, I'm here in this booth with Chubb and the New York Academy of Art. Uh, I was a student at the New York Academy of Art. I got my MFA. And then I did a third year fellowship with Chubb, which gave me a studio space and a stipend for a year and really allowed me to hone in on my voice with that support system. Uh, and I started working for my imagination uh, right before the fellowship during the pandemic. Uh, so that there's this body of work. Uh, it's colored pencil, colored pencil, and also wax pastel, which is sort of like a thicker colored pencil um, on paper. And it kind of has this almost like velvety look on the black paper. So Andre Booster, hand bone glass, they're one of a kind, they're also signed. This Banksy from Gallery Thomas in Munich that has an asking price of 3850000 And this diamond-encrusted screen print of Shoes by Andy Warhol from the Van Weg Gallery in New York. And that's it. Hey guys, make sure you're subscribed and commenting down below so that you can be part of the discussion.